Hello YouTube, it's Balmore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing Fallout 4, Survival Difficulty for the PC, of course. I don't do it every time, but I feel like showing you guys there's the difficulty. We are on a new quest, and I just warped into the area, and we're immediately in some... I didn't clear the area out, obviously, so we got some fighting going on. can't really I think you can see it better I changed my pip boy my pip boy from white to a green display I can't really I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing that but we're here on another brotherhood mission to collect it's a repeatable quest it's this isn't repeatable but um, finding tech is repeatable and then this one um, is clearing out areas that which is a repeatable thing but anyways um, it's a new quest We've got to retrieve this item, and uh, I didn't have the quest point um, discovered yet, so I couldn't warp to it, but this is nearby, which is what I typically do, and we're playing the Sneaky Assassin build, and this is part, if I haven't said it already, I apologize, it's part um, 22 of our series, so hooray! Nothing there in it. There we go. We're gonna yeah, blitz him right. with, with a sword. I wonder if I can get a two for one right there. Yep. Both. <laughs> oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. I bet you will. His head blew up. Where are you? Oh, I know where we are. There's a lot of raiders or whatever over here. Go back to our sword. Huh? What? Oh, uh, it's on! If you didn't know, I have chameleon armor. Uh, and chameleon, in case people are, I don't know when people are going to get in on the videos. If you didn't know, Chameleon will make you invisible when you stand still. <laughs> Look at that line of sight. On a legendary one shot. It's funny. Do do do. Yeah, look at that. So, like I'm saying, I get retarded amounts of chameleon gear. This is my fourth piece I've gotten um, just from legendary drops. So, yeah, it makes you harder to see. But it's nice to be able to show you guys when it drops because all the other times were, uh, were when I wasn't recording, I was just farming. Looks like it is... Anything else? Looks like that's pretty empty. Eat those freaking things. So, in case you're curious, I'm going to say it again. Sneak is when you're crouching and moving. That's sneaking, where they don't detect you. So you put points into the sneak perk, that's what's gonna make it harder for them. In the early points of sneak, you have to crawl. You cannot, you know, quote unquote, run sneak. So 
gonna be super mutants, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like super mutant territory. Stupid noises. Yeah, 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 yeah. A chameleon is when you um, just sit still. As you can see, the chameleon effect, you know, only happens when I'm motionless. Now, the chameleon armor does stack, so your detectability when not moving is separate from sneak. As far as I've tested, don't quote me on that, but um, the chameleon armor stacks. I have four pieces, and as you can see, when I squat, even if they're shooting at me, when they run over, they don't see I'm actually there. If I have, if I take a piece off, they'll actually see me a little easier. And I'm curious on what five pieces do. I'm not really sure if that one piece I got is my Annoying. missing component or not. <laughs> See? Oh, oh. Damn it. See, I'm not invincible. They can eventually see me. Somewhere out there. What does that remind you of? Wizard of Oz, that's right. I gotta be a little quicker. See if there's anybody else we can get. It looks like they're all up there. Now the chameleon effect is annoying because it kind of flashes the screen. I don't like that, but I wish there was a way to turn that off. Oh, it is a master lock. I'm like, this seems a little difficult. That's it. Got to get that perfect spot. So boring. Let's probably take that. <laughs> and I am in love with this sneaky, stealthy build. If you guys haven't noticed from watching any of my videos. Getting. Shut up. Gotta find the card. I have to remember this, uh, this place down here. goes outside. Let's say exit. Yep. Need to find the card. That's the other door. But there's gonna be a fusion core in here. they ate him. Super mutants do, there are references, I haven't played any of the other Fallout games, that they eat people. There's my fusion core. Knocky knock. our main target, our item we need to collect. I didn't want that coffee cup, I thought it was a uh, newspaper.
gotta get upstairs. How am I gonna go upstairs? I smell your fear, human! Face me, you coward! Well, let's see if they come downstairs. They went to caution, so. You see, I have max sneak and they still saw me moving. That's how we get up. Can't believe I found that key. Yeah, those super mutants are super heavy. No pun intended there. glitched out it won't get won't blow up some music we're gonna have to hack to get in there I wonder what's in there Someone there. Shut, shut up, you know. There we go. Here. Somebody was building a Giddy Up Buttercup. This might be that toy factory I needed to go to. Yes. Well, that's a lot of stuff. the safe this way too. Let's play it safe. Go ahead. Hi Daddy. Sorry that was seemed boring. Super sledge. Now, I don't feel like dressing like a super mutant, so I'm not going to pick those up. Safe. So much. 
much stuff in this game. Nice. What's that? What's that? Oops. Oh gosh, dang it. <laughs> I really stupid noises. Wait a minute. I'm in a whole area I haven't been in. Giddy up Buttercup. This is where I'm gonna have to go, I think, for that one quest. For there's a settlement where the guy was a toy. He was building a toy, and I had to go. Away. The only official place was a toy factory. Seems like a toy factory. I got a treat for you. I bet you do. I bet you do. Okay, I have been in here. I just never went through this door. Stomachs, not like they're over engorging. There's a card. I gotta remember there's two doors downstairs, I can't forget. What? Who's there? Killed him from over here. That just cracks me up. Oh, come on, jump. Where did I go? It was up here. Yeah, here we go. Wait a second. It'll take me around. It does. To do to do. There's nothing down there. 
Medical Center. Yeah, this is that toy factory. So I think I'll have to go come back here eventually for that toy quest, but I've cleared everything out, I think. All these toy... One of these is probably the real thing. I think he wanted me to look for a... Um, like a, a crate of something. Maybe we can all get experience from this. Sweet. Let's see if we can find those two. Actually. Covered the frickin' thing yet. Ugh. Where are you? You're right up there. I probably passed it up one more level. go up another level. Urgh. It's down a level. Yeah, that key we found unlocked this, but is this really all that's in here? Pause it to you know dink around when trying to find the stairwell. I'm sure it's a blatantly obvious thing. You guys are probably like you idiots right there. Blind gaming, hello. takes me up to this level. There's only this way. I think I... Oh, maybe I didn't go down here and this is what... This is a new place. We need to duct tape. The adhesive is a pretty major component when you're building settlement crap and weapons. seen this place before. That's going to be a computer. Computer's going to open that up. Strike one. Goodies. 
that's it for in there. There's a stairwell up. That's an exit. Oh, maybe it's, that's the same door. It just kind of cuts across. We gotta get up. it out. Yeah, I hear another super mirror. It's kind of like the main Someone entrance. There. Talker now, are ya? Yeah, it's right there. Huh. I've seen a plasma pistol yet. Let's take it. I thought it was bread. <laughs> Some drive. So that's all we needed. I thought it was up another level, but. Yeah, I was in here and it was sitting there the whole time. Gosh dang it. Well, that was it. doesn't go anywhere. Let's go ahead and quick save on this. I think that's it. Let's just make sure by leaving. Sounded like I was tapping on the microphone. Ow. Yep, we are alone. That's cool. The stars light up when I go chameleon. Alright guys, well, that does it for this quest. I'm not going to bother showing the turn-in because she's like, oh, thank you. Do you want another? So, yeah. I think next next quest, we'll go ahead and uncheck that. Next quest we'll be doing this, we'll just be clearing out this plaza and killing everything in sight. Who knows what we're going to be against. Raiders, super mutants, um, rad, the, the rad wildlife, you know, rad scorpions or whatever. It should be fun. But anyways, guys, uh, this has turned out to be quite a good game. I really enjoy this. I mean, if it was my personal opinion, I'd say right now, four out of five, just for the fact on how many guns, what you can do with them, how many weapons, what you can do with them, different types of builds you can go for. They're making an experience pretty easy. I'd say a little too easy. <coughs> Again, I am 60-something. And, I mean, I haven't gone that far in the game. I've done a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot. But um, 
main story wise not very far so we know right now we know two factions the brotherhood of steel and the minutemen and we are again on the brotherhood of steel and we're doing the sneaky assassin approach so which is a mix of sneak attack and chameleon so anyways guys um and if you didn't um hear it last video um the plans right now are after this we're going to go back to survival horror which is my true favorite and that will be amnesia um actually both amnesia games i've never played them i always wanted to and uh, my wife gave me a gift card for christmas for steam so i'm gonna go pull them down they got a bundle and then we're gonna do dying light the game is just really fun really really fun i played it a long time ago I don't know how long it's been out. I played it when it first came out. Uh, it's been so long. It'll be fun to do. I know that's not going to be along the blind gaming type thing because I'm not playing it completely blind since I played it before. But I'll be completely rusty. And I don't really remember everything because um, it was a very big game unless you ripped through the main story. After that, not really sure. Um, I have plenty of games on Steam that I can put on the channel that I haven't played. I just threw in my library. But... Um, survival horror I'm most interested in if you guys um, I know this isn't technically a survival horror but I don't know it's got zombies I kind of feel like it kind of is you're surviving we're on survival difficulty um, but ideas for more survival horror games if you guys know any are coming up in the near future or maybe this year sometime I'd be more interested um, one game I can think of off the top of my head that we will be showcasing on the channel, no doubt, is going to be Dark Souls 3. I love Dark Souls 2. Um, I did tape that series, so feel free to go and check that out. But uh, real good game. I hope uh, Dark Souls 3 doesn't disappoint. I doubt it will. So I think they made Demon Souls. Um, I'm not a true gamer geek, so I don't know the facts there. I'm sure they did it take part in it if they aren't the same company but I remember Demon Souls uh, back in the day I played one of them uh, might have been the original and that was super fun and super hard and that's what I like I got this eye condition so I like to challenge myself I'm blind so playing games on max difficulty blind I mean if I can do it you can do it it's fun it's really really fun it puts that extra layer of difficulty on top of whatever I'm doing. So playing this on survival, it's even more hard. It is harder. I almost misspoke there. It's definitely harder, um, except when I'm sneaky stealthing around. I mean, it's there's no difficulty whatsoever. So anyways, guys, I hope to see you next video or any future videos. Of course, check out any of my previous videos or any previous series. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Very, very important. Um, I would love the support. And I um, truly do appreciate all the support given. Subscriptions, likes, and comments. Um, and, of course, donations are always appreciated. I have a career, a good career, so I don't need the money. Um, it's just nice to put something toward the channel. Um, you know, whatever it may be, it's always, it's always good. So that is always appreciated, guys. And those of you that have done that, you know who, exactly who you are. Um, you want to remain anonymous, of course, but uh, I just want to say thank you very much. And it's always important to um, show gratitude and never just kind of, you know, not say anything. I can't think that's kind of dumb. But um, I'm glad that there are people out there that are enjoying the gameplay. And uh, if there are people that have the typical build, which I'm assuming is take a gun and run around, um, you want to see, you know, what people are doing on survival difficulty. This seems a viable option. It was very, very, very hard to begin with. It took me 20 plus levels just to get it to where I felt like I was manageable. But that's coming from a blind guy that never played it before outside uh, the intro and um, is playing it blind. So that's just from my standpoint. Anyways, guys, I truly enjoy doing this stuff for you. I've always wanted to do it, and I'm glad that I took that chance and that I've got the support of my wife. Um, the only downfall is I do it so late at night. I don't only I only get to do like two or three videos a night if I'm doing it every night. The weekend's different. I get to plow like 
giggity, like uh, almost 20 videos if I really put my mind to it. So I'm constantly putting videos up. Um, publishing them, I'm trying to get a little better at that, but uh, I do take breaks because that's a whole nother, got to sit down and take my time because I want you guys to be able to search my videos. But enough of that. Until next time, guys, as always, later.